critic calls January the garbage month of movies, and he's here to explain. Is it really that awful? Yeah, January is not a time that film critics look forward to. As studios just sort of dump their, you know, their excess product out on us. So there's good stuff to see, like her and American Hustle. Uh, Gravity is back out in theaters. You want to catch up on your Academy Award films, but you know, try to avoid a lot of the new stuff if possible. Good to know. Well, here's a check on what's coming up for the month of February, starting yes. with the Lego Movie, also Monuments Men, Three Days to Kill, Nonstop, About Last Night, Endless Love, RoboCop, Vampire Academy, Pompeii, and Winter's Tale. Mm -hmm. All right, the first thing I'm noticing is. There's three remakes on there. Yeah. That's all a opening, lot. all opening on Valentine's Day. You ah, know, so you about go. last night, you know, it was a Chicago-based movie. All these movies from back from the '80s. Uh, this one has an all Af African American cast, so that's sort of an interesting, you know, play on it. Uh, what was Edlin's Love, Brooke Shields, you know, a really horrible movie from the early '80s, and then RoboCop. I don't know why they needed to remake this thing. The movie looks really, really wretched. So let's, I'm just going to stay home on Valentine's Day, I think. But there are action films to look mm -hmm. forward to. You say so. What do you like here? Well, you got the Monuments, Monuments Men. You know, George Clooney's film that was supposed to open in December. Sony moved it out of there, said it wasn't ready, and it's really kind of worked out well for American Hustle. It's done very well. Uh, but this one, you know, is a World War II movie, sort of an adventure tale about, you know, the United States, you know, military trying to get all the sort of the precious artifacts out before they're destroyed by the Nazis. Big cast, Clooney, Damon, Bill Murray, John Goodman, Kate Blanchett. Looks looks really fun. What about Nonstop with Liam Neeson? He Not is really having a great career. He really is, and this is uh, another action film he's reteaming with the director of Unknown, which is a, a decent hit from a few years ago. And it's a really wacky premise. He's an air marshal on a plane, and he gets a text message from a terrorist saying he's going to kill someone every 20 minutes on the plane unless someone gives him his money. So, you know, I think that the, the title of the movie tells it all. Do you think the Lego movie will be worth seeing? I, it, looks, it looks really fun. I mean, we have animation was really bad in 2013 quality wise not so much at the box office did really well but this movie looks really fun and there's not a lot out there for families right now so I think the Lego movie is gonna do very well in, in February they're doing a lot of marketing of that movie yeah. all right in some baddies these are not your faves we <laughs> they don't put look them on good the, bottom. Yeah. the vampire movie the Pompeii <laughs> And the Winter's Tale, not uh, so great. Winter's Tale looks at least sort of interesting, sort of a you know weird, you know ghostly type romance. One movie you didn't mention that does come out January 31st is Labor Day, and I'm yeah. hearing very positive comments about that. And film. you should because it's a good movie. I mean, this is from director Jason Reitman, who gave us Juno and Up in the Air and Young Adult. Uh, and this is a film that Paramount, the studio, has kind of buried a little bit. It was open in December to qualify for the Academy Awards. They didn't give it a lot of push with critics during the season, so it hasn't gotten a lot of buzz. But you know, maybe Josh Brolin's personal problems have sort of kept him from promoting it well. But this is a movie that people should go see. So not everything in January is bad. This is actually one to look forward to. I'll take your advice. Thank you, Eric, for coming in. Thank you.